as we all know, David and Pally are both runners. And so uh, I remember in 2013 when David and Pally came to me as the director of the foundation and said that they had really been thinking while they were running and they wanted to name a room in the new hospital for both of their parents. When I got home, I, I went in and, and I said, hey, hon, I, in running, I thought, you know, we, we have an opportunity. The hospital has given us an opportunity to name something that'll be at, name something after our parents. Uh, that'll be here forever after we're gone, after they're gone. And I said, what do you think about it? I told her how much that would be and, and her comments were, don't you think you need to wait till the endorphins kind of die down a little bit? <laughs> 10 minutes later, she was on board with me. She was on board, was she was on board from the get go. They selected the sixth floor waiting room. And so, as you can see, this room is lovingly named for both David's parents and Pally's parents because of their love for St. Thomas Rutherford Hospital. When I think about David and Pally Jones, I think about servants. Uh, I think about people who get things done. I remember when the hospital was having its $20 million campaign to build the new hospital that was, was gonna be required before we get started. The first call I made to help was to David. Uh, and he worked harder than anybody on that group and the fact that that campaign was successful and we raised the money we need to raise is in large part to his efforts. David and Pally have that unusual quality of really jumping into something that they support. And while they're very private in their philanthropy, they do not work from the sidelines. They have been invested in our local hospital in many, many ways. David has served on the hospital board cumulatively for over 20 years. And Pally has also been an avid supporter of the Rutherford Society, of the Ambassadors, and actually wine around the square. Both of us being lifelong residents of this county, it's just important to see what we do here, stay here and, and work here for this community. In addition to the, the generous gifts they've given in support of our building. Uh, they have also uh, endowed a scholarship uh, named after Pally's mom, Lib Walker, uh, to help uh, nursing uh, students uh, fund their education. So uh, again, here's a, an example where they have really gone above and beyond uh, to help our uh, recruitment and the training of, of new nurses. I think what drives David and Pally are just their sense of feeling fortunate themselves. If you ask them, they'll tell you they've just been lucky. Uh, having worked with David in the banking industry before uh, and seeing Pally work in, in her line of, of business, I know they work hard and they work smart. Uh, and even though they'll call it luck, they kind of remind me of the old adage that the harder you seem to work, the luckier you seem to get. What The feeling you get from giving last a whole lot longer than the feeling that you get from receiving. And I found that to be true, we found that to be true, uh, without question. Mm -hmm.